I have been, uh, you know, we've been supplying uh, equipment to most of the manufacturers in uh, going around and seeing how these factories are evolving. Uh, see, we do have challenges in ecosystem, as Manu said, that you know, these certain hardwares are not available and things like that. But whatever is not available, we can import, but we can produce the same quality as the Italian, as the Chinese, even today. Uh, and as an example, uh, Mr. Bharat has been producing kitchens. I've seen his unit, his quality standards, uh, quality that he makes. Uh, I mean, given the same uh, comparison to an Italian, he can produce the same quality as the Italian, uh, uh, you know, kitchen in India at much lower cost than the Italian one. Uh, having said that, there are also so many manufacturers in India who also produce so far, I mean, so many different items uh, where they match up to the quality standards of any Italian or any Chinese thing. It is just that they are not recognized. I mean, they don't have a bigger recognition in India. People don't recognize them. And they don't, some of them also have the fear that if they come out and show this, you know, in an exhibition, the same people might copy. So they remind with a mindset that, you know, they, they produce it, but they remind with a very narrow mindset. They don't want to show it to others. So this is, uh, I mean, you know, another thing. And on the sustainability front, the question that you asked you earlier, uh, of course, there are a lot of materials that still have to find way to create sustainability for those materials like plywood, laminate, and so on. But I think we can add up, adding to that, we can bring in materials in India. We have a lot of reclined wood available. We can use a lot of reclined wood, very good quality reclined wood has been imported. And also the plantation timber that is available in India. Of course, plywood today uses 100% plantation timber. But even on furnitures, we can use a lot of reclined wood and plantation timbers to contribute to the sustainability. So what do we need to do to become a global factory? Like how Italy and China have done it. In India, we have design teams for this manufacturing, for the retail, for all these tech also. But to reach that global factory level, what all do we need? We just need to uh, increase the scalability. You know, uh, many of us have challenges in scaling up our operations. You know, uh, uh, India has its own challenges in scaling up operations. The first thing comes with the land. You know, if someone needs to uh, in expand, it just hurdle is the land. Getting a land is a big one, and uh, the cost of investment, the cost of money is also very high compared to China. China, you get uh, loans at four and a half percent, within six percent, but India, the cost of money is also 8, 9, 10 percent, which is also very high uh, compared to the global uh, thing. So these are the challenges, but having said these challenges, there are manufacturers who keep expanding uh, in India year on year. You know, there are some people who double up their capacity in two to three years. So I think we will see uh, the, the maximum change or radical change in the next five years. Uh, we will be in a different level. And the Chinese thing that you wanted to touch upon it, but if you'd like to add more. Yeah, well, uh, before I answer your question, uh, the reason why people go to Italy or why people go to China has also changed in the last 10 years. 10 years ago, uh, people went to Italy because you were not getting those designs or getting those products, that quality products in India. So people went to Italy for that. Ten years ago, uh, people went to China because pre predominantly for a reason that you were not getting the scale or the volume that you know we want and the cost. People went to China for the price primarily ten years ago, and today it has changed. So today in India, why people go to Italy is because people want, like uh, I said, that you know people have on the if we are buying power has increased and we would like to have an expensive furniture at home and of course the design and quality things like that it is for this reason people go to uh, Italy and for China also today people just don't go for price today of course there is a certain uh, uh, segment of people who go for price to China but it's a segment which goes to China again for the uh, design for the scale and uh, uh, 
and the kind of quality or the consistency they offer on uh, furniture. So, so these are the reasons. So is, there, is there a difference in the manufacturing process in the unit, European unit versus a Chinese unit? Is there a difference in the yes, manufacturing uh, and the... Yeah, see basically Chinese have adopted certain smart techniques in manufacturing. Of course, Europeans have been doing it largely. Europeans focus mostly on the design and on the quality front. But on the Chinese side, they, apart from this quality and design, they also focus on smart techniques to uh, make the furniture more comfortable or more cost friendly. And the scale, the volume at which they produce also brings down the uh, cost of those uh, uh, furnitures. And uh, so, just for this reason, you know, people go to uh, China. Thank you.